Back to the heat, this, this extreme heat that we're talking about, we're expecting this weekend. As Mary said, there's already an excessive heat watch across the DMV for tomorrow, which means outdoor activities might not be the best idea. Now, I'm joined right now by the acting director of uh, DC Emergency Management, Clint Osborne. Good morning, uh, and thank you again for, for coming back in and, and speaking with us. We appreciate you uh, this morning. There you are, we, we got you on camera now. Uh, thank you very much. So we, we were just talking before we came on camera. Uh, we have heat emergencies, but this is extreme because it's so long, it's a long period of time. You were telling me it's normally just a couple of days. This is, this is probably worse. Yeah, typically we watch the, the heat throughout the summer and we'll have a day on and a day off for a couple of days in a row. But what we're seeing uh, this week is almost 10 days of these extreme temperatures. What, what is the plan? I know we're talking about these cooling centers. Where can people go to find out information about these cooling centers and how they can get to them? Everything they need to know about these cooling centers because this is very important to keep people safe. Yeah, absolutely. So we have an interactive map available to all of our residents at heat.dc.gov and it'll show you the cooling centers, rec centers, pools, spray parks, all of the resources that you have and they're spread throughout the, the district uh, and generally within walking distance of a lot of folks. Now, last time we talked, it, it wasn't uh, this. It wasn't predicted to be this bad. It was going to be hot, but now, as we're talking about 100, uh, feels like 100 today, and even higher tomorrow. So the pools, that situation has changed since the last time we talked. The pools are now open. Yeah, the or pool, will be open. The, yep, thank you. The pools mm -hmm. will open tomorrow for the season, so on Saturday, and then for the rest of the season. All of our pools operate on a six day schedule. You should always check uh, before you go to make sure that the pool you want to go to is open that day mm -hmm. because all not all of the pools are, are uh, closed on the same day of the week. Right. And we also want to remind people fire hydrants don't do that. Uh, don't, that's not a, that's not a thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you open a fire hydrant, you take the water pressure down in that mm -hmm. area and it makes firefighting in that area hard and nobody wants that in right. their neighborhood. Also, this heat, we've been talking about it. Mary always uh, says this. It, it's a health issue as well. What are some of the warning signs that people uh, that you've seen people deal with when it comes to this extreme heat? Because you don't really see it uh, initially. You might not feel it initially, but you could be having some issues. So talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. It's easy to underestimate the heat that you're going to experience when you go out. If you're sitting in your air conditioning, you think I'm going to be OK. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get out there, what we look for is uh, rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, excessive sweating, and then the later symptoms are going to be uh, dry skin, the inability to sweat, cramping, uh, lethargy, and things like that. And if you mm -hmm. experience those symptoms or you see someone experiencing those symptoms, dial 911. Also, uh, probably hats, sunscreen, lots of water, those types of things are, are, are good as well. Absolutely. Lots of water, lots of rest breaks. If you can't get to a cooled area, at least get into the shade, take a break. And we don't want to forget as we wrap up our pets, they need protection as well. Yeah, uh, this is a terrible time of the year to have pets outside for extended periods of time, uh, as well as in cars. Remember, a car can heat up very, very quickly during the season. Uh, so you want to look before you lock your doors. And if, if you see someone, if you see a pet that's outside or an animal that's outside and you think they need to be checked on, you can contact the Humane Rescue Alliance. All right. Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate your time. Good information as always. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. For a closer look at all of these resources that we're talking about and others in Maryland and Virginia as well, just text the word heat to the number on your screen, which is 202-895-5599, 202-895-5599. We'll send it back to, uh, we'll send you back a link with a list of the cooling centers all around the DMV as well. We've been talking about this heat all week. Just take a look at this map. So much red behind me and we're not the only ones dealing with this.